So a window cleaning company comes over, washes your window, they look sparkling clean, but then you need your screens cleaned. Well, you can either have them clean the screens for you or you can do it yourself. And let me give you some tips on how to clean your screens. First off, let me tell you what not to do. Don't power wash your screens. If you power wash your screens, you're going to have problems. You're going to have marks that go back and forth on the screens and that's from the power washer. Worse, it could ruin your screen completely and rip holes into it. You do not want to power wash your screens. If you wash them with soap and water, they would look all right. But a lot of times you do have muddy spots and you do have muddy streaks on it. It doesn't get them the way you want them to turn out because they're so dirty. The best way to clean a screen, you need a soft bristle brush that is, that is firm. You can get it at your local hardware store. If you, if you brush them and you start from the corners, you'll be able to get the screen looking really nice. You, wash, you, you, you brush both sides of the screen and if you want to further protect your screens after cleaning them, I recommend highly 303 Protectant. You can find that online. You could use Armor All, but it doesn't work as well. And it's so important that you do keep up your screens. And again, if this is too much of a hassle to do that yourself, I highly recommend you hire a window cleaning company uh, to do that for you so you don't have to worry about it. So one of the best ways to pick a window cleaning company is through customer reviews and ratings. If you already know the window cleaning company you want to use, I, I highly recommend you go to their website because they'll have reviews from their current customers. And a lot of times if you contact the, that company directly, they will give you uh, references of companies that they use. You actually talk to someone on the phone, which is very important. I would highly recommend that you ask them for references so that you can call their, comp their customers that use them and ask them whatever questions you'd like. If you don't know what kind of cleaning company you want to use, I highly recommend you go to Service Magic. If you go to servicemagic.com and you'll be able to have many choices uh, from qualified companies. They will have many vendors in the field that you're looking for and the services that you're looking for and they will have customer reviews and ratings and you'll be able to see exactly what people are saying about them and make a decision on what type of company you would like to use. Here's the first sign you'll know that you're working with a bad window cleaning company. You're on the phone with them and you're asking them for a price and you're asking them to set up an appointment and they're arguing with you or they're pressuring you. You don't want to work with a company like that. If you're on the phone with them, you're trying to schedule, you're trying to get some prices from them and they're arguing with you or they're pressuring you. You don't want to work with a company like that. You want to hang up the phone immediately. When you hire a window cleaning company, it's very important that they treat you with utmost courtesy, respect, kindness. You want to work with a window cleaning company who is always there for you. And they show you that you are number one because you are number one. You're the customer and you're their bread and butter. It's so important that a company treats you well, that they're there for you. They're there when you call them that they're giving you the service, the quality. That company should be willing to do anything for you. They should be willing to pet your dog. They should be willing to give you a massage while they're washing your windows. You should be that important to them. So if you like what you've seen and you'd like to learn more, then please go to my website, jjwindowash.com. See you soon.